need to talk about something, you guys. I recently looked at my analytics and almost 50% of you are males. And that's not even including all of the lesbians who watch this channel, so I figured we really need to have a video on fingering because some of you are not doing it right. So this is going to be a video adding in a couple of tips, a couple of things that you really, really should be doing, and then answering some of your guys' questions. And if you have any other questions that you want to see or you want a part two, leave those down below in the comments. Also, if you are wondering, hey, fingering, got it down now. How do I give a hand job? How do I give a blow job? How do I eat out a vagina? I have all three of those videos and I will link them down below. And if you want any other sex guides or tips or part twos, let me know. And again, leave those in the comments. Let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to start out with a couple of basic tips that you must do before you even get to the nether regions of the partner that you are fingering. Okay. So first thing, trim your god damn nails. At the very goddamn least, file them so you don't have like fucking sharp shards of nail. I cannot tell you, and this has 100% come from guys who have put their fingers in my vagina, how many times I have looked at someone's hand while we're like getting coffee or doing something like that and been disgusted by their nails. Because here's the thing, if you have dirt under your nails, if you have nails that are like just fucking chipped away and you have sharp edges and you think you're gonna put that in my body, you're not. You better file that, clip it, clean underneath it, wash your fucking hands. It's really not that hard. Before any hanky-panky stuff is starting, go to the bathroom, wash your hands. So easy. So easy. With the basic hygiene stuff done, let's get into a little bit of technique. So the first thing that you need to do, especially if this is gonna be your first time around a vagina, is learn where things are. So if you've literally never seen anything before, that's absolutely fine. Just pause this video or <laughs> keep it in the background and Google image a picture of a vagina that has little labels as to where things are. The main things that you need to know is the clit because that is just, the nerve bundle of just, it controls so much pleasure. You need to know where that is because that is gonna be a big part of fingering someone or going down on someone. You need to focus a lot on the clit. You can rub your thumb on it. You can rub it with two fingers. A lot of the times when women are masturbating, we focus a lot on our clit um, or you know, you rub your clit, you go in with a vibrator, but the clit is something that you do not want to ignore because it is so powerful. You also want to know obviously where the vagina is. I hear this from a lot of people that it is a little further down and kind of like underneath than a lot of people originally think. You just put your hand down someone's pants and you're just expecting it to be like right around here. Here's her panty line. Here's her vagina. But no, it's more like down around here. So you need to know kind of where these things are. Obviously there's going to be vagina lips. So it's not just like a smooth Barbie with a hole, right? So as long as you look up an image, you kind of understand the general location of things, the rest of this is going to be a lot easier for you. Now let's talk about prep work because now that you know where things are, you're going to need to get her ready because just like you wouldn't want some girl grabbing your dick and dry handed like fucking rubbing it because that would give you a dick burn, you don't want to just immediately like, oh I found the hole, time to fist her, right? You need to get her ready, get her excited for it and by that I mean get her wet. So you can do that a ton of different ways. Some girls get super wet just from making out and from touching and from the anticipation of it. Some people really like boob play. Some people really like just like fondling over the pants. You know, this is where the clit is really important. Again, rub it with a thumb, rub it with your fingers. Depending on the angle, you can obviously be doing this while she's like laying down, you're on top, she's sitting on your lap, you guys are just kind of sitting side by side and kind of leaning over. There's no position that's super, super awkward unless you can't get to her vagina, in which case, it's not that big of a deal. I feel like that's literally some people's biggest fears is we're in the wrong position. What do I do now? Just, just move. It's, it's not hard. It's not awkward. Literally these situations are not awkward unless you make them awkward. So just be like, Hey, lie down, you know? And obviously I'm going to take this second to disclaim consent should have been obtained by this point. Consent is mandatory. I'm not going to go into further detail because you're all respectable adults. 
and you know this, and I'm just reiterating it, and you're sitting there like, yes, Ashley, we know, thank you for the reminder, and you're welcome, let's continue. Now, as far as actual insertion, you're gonna wanna start out with one finger, then slowly move on to two, and obviously at this point you're checking in, like, do you want more, does that feel good, keep the lines of communication open, and then really this just moves on to preference, do they like dirty talk, do you feel comfortable with that, you know, go a little faster, keep checking in, does that feel good, do you like that, you can obviously incorporate other things if they're comfortable with that, like making out, their hand down your pants, you know, taking off clothes. Then there are some techniques where you do different like finger positions. Some can kind of hit the G-spot better. So you can do like a hook because the G-spot is usually once you're in the vagina more down here. So you can hook it and just kind of like turn like this. You can do, what's that one? It's like you put your fingers like this and then you have that like girth and you just kind of twist it. So you're getting that girth and that full feeling. And then it's also hitting the G-spot. That is a personal favorite of mine and you should definitely try that one out. And let's talk about finishing now because some girls, I am one of them, can finish from fingering and some can't. Some people need more sensation, more stimulation. There's a lot of women who can't even finish from sex and that is totally fine, that is totally normal. But that doesn't mean that you're not getting a lot of pleasure out of getting fingered. For me, it is one of my favorite sensations. I like that so much more than oral. Oral does like virtually nothing for me and I've had people who are really good at it but my body just doesn't really respond in the like best of ways. But my body responds really well to being fingered and having like just that stimulation works a lot better for me. So if your partner does orgasm, amazing, good job. And if your partner doesn't orgasm from getting fingered, absolutely there is always room for improving your technique and just like matching what you're doing for the best fit to what her body likes and responds to, but it's not always just because you didn't do it properly. Sometimes that kind of sensation just doesn't finish people off. Like I finished literally one time from getting eaten out and then I finished very quickly and very often from getting fingered in a very like short amount of time. So it's just people respond to different kinds of sensation differently. So now I'm gonna answer some of your guys' questions that you sent in through Snapchat and Instagram. Both of mine are Younging19, link down below. Check it out, I asked for a bunch of questions for different things on there. So if you wanna get into a video, that is where you can find it. So the first main question here comes from a couple of different people who just don't enjoy getting fingered, but they like the effort that their partner is putting in and that is totally okay. I personally tell a lot of my partners like right off the bat before we even get into sex because I like having sexual conversations with, with people who I think it will get taken there, but I just don't like oral sex. Like it's, it's not something that they need to prove that they're amazing at. It's just something that I don't get a lot out of and honestly most of the times I would just prefer to skip it all together and if you feel that way about fingering that's okay you do not have to like it you don't have to do it every time and I've said this a couple times in videos before but sex and sexual activity doesn't have to abide by a script it doesn't have to go like first kiss, making out, fingering and hand job, oral and you know, sucking his dick and then sex and then if you're really adventurous like anal maybe one day, like you can pick and choose and start different places and as long as that's comfortable for the people who are involved, it's fine. If you're skipping around, you go from like kissing to sex and then you give a blowjob afterwards, like that's Fine. Like I had sex before I ever gave a blowjob and that worked for me and that's okay. Another thing that I do want to say though is this is where masturbation comes into play a lot. You should know what you like first. So I would say take some time, do some very scientific research and play with yourself. See what you like. Do you like getting fingered if you do it from a certain way? Do you prefer just like focusing on your clit? Do you prefer using a vibrator? Do you prefer like humping something? This is very fun scientific research and I definitely recommend you do it. And literally as soon as you know what you're doing, you can just show that to your partner. If you do find that, oh my God, all I needed was three fingers and then one rubbing my clit and suddenly it's like boom, 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 orgasms everywhere, show that to your partner and I'm sure they will be eager to please. And then there was a question from a guy saying, how do I position my hand? So this depends on how she's positioned. So if she is like right here, you can kind of cup and go up like this. If you know she's laying down and you're down here, you can just obviously go straight in and then use your different finger techniques and try different things, right? You wanna experiment. This is fun experimentation. You guys are like unlocking the code to each other's bodies and it should be fun because yes, here's the thing, trying 
different things with new people and unlocking the secrets to their bodies, it can take some time, but it is so worthwhile when you know how each other's bodies works and what, what makes it tick and what makes you come because you're going to have a far better sex life if you can communicate and share what you like and what you don't like and what you want to try and what you don't want to try versus just staying silent and letting whatever happen. So that's the last tip I have for you guys is make sure that you speak up. If something doesn't feel good, make sure that you speak up. Try this and Instead, I like it when you do this or you know do this with your fingers it's what I like to do something like that and that works for everything for oral for you know giving a blowjob for having sex for just everything speak up if you want to try something else speak up because your partner should be interested in pleasing you in making sure that you are getting pleasure out of this but that is it you guys let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving it a thumbs up subscribe and hit the bell for more sex related videos there's also a complete other side of this channel I do beauty and Project Pan videos as well and then there's more tame stuff like period and puberty kinds of videos so let me know what other sort of stuff you want to see and again if you have questions or you want a part two to this or any of my sex videos let me know in the comments down below thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon bye